Island. I'm your host, DJ Lopez from Manchester in the UK, that is. And uh, currently, you're looking at a video which is a practical use of uh, power generated by a jet of water. Now, I had a little problem last time around, which was. Well, either you have a radio on or you have a light on. But that's because I was using quite a high sort of uh, rated uh, light or an LED with no diode on it. Just looking for a torch. So, uh, well, I've got a torch in my camera and that. So, basically, what you, what you can see here is the radio. And I've even got it charging some batteries now as well. So I've got them 3 volt packs, more or less wired on, in parallel there. So you can choose one or the other. So they charge up. And I've got three, uh, they're actually 12 volt LEDs, but they've got a, a resistor on them. So they do work with the radio. Oops. A pain in the ass to tune. Bit flaky, but... So uh, I'm just sort of sitting here, turn the light off, enjoying my nightlight. I know you can't see very much there though, but it's more than more than tranquil. It's kind of tuning it, watching a bit of the old NASA TV. I have this on always, constantly. Missed him grab hold of it today though. Seen them open the doors, pretty cool. So if you're wondering how the power's generated, it's on a previous video, but let's put it this way, I've had the turbine on now for oh at least a day or so. Uh, and I decided to charge some batteries up, so yeah, it's just three. It's a pack like that. You know like yeah. Uh, pack off uh, some fairy lights it was so, so it's got a three 1.2 volt batteries in it works out 3.6 volts but I've got two of them in parallel and the switch on the box just lets you turn it on and off it sometimes it adds to the lights so it pulls them down if it's charging so if you have nothing else but the pack on it will charge up it seems to still be charging up even with a uh, What's it? You still have got my meter there hooked up. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to get the light on it in the right place. 3.6 volts. This is climbing. Got one of the packs on. Well, I've got both the packs on, in fact. You notice when they turn the packs off, it just flickers a little bit. They act almost like a capacitor. So, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep this rocking. I'm just that radio down there uses about five volts, and that could be a tablet. In fact, it could be a phone, and I could get entirely on the internet and see what I'm doing through that. Because oh yeah, show you the. the oops, I don't want the fucker flashing really. I mean, look how bright that is. Seriously, it stops the radio from working though, but it's pretty it's well bright. It's a three. It was actually a two battery, sort of a three LED flashlight for a bike, you know, for the front light. So it's been over vaulted a bit, but it's bright. So, uh, and I also got a red one. Because <laughs> I was thinking, I was just, but that pulls the other one down. I don't like the vivid white light that comes off it. Except actually that one's not too bad. I might just have to get a bit of yellow marker pen on it or something. So, uh. <laughs> I found that. It was on the floor and it just fell off someone's bike. So yeah, turn that one off and I'll get the radio back. Should do. That must have caned a bit of power out of the batteries. Anyway. Trust me, 
it can definitely work and you can definitely do it. It's only a trickle. It's enough to run some night lights and a radio and even a really quite bright seeing what you're doing like. It's fantastic. I'm just going to let you watch it for just a little while in, in silence. So, Roger D Sports fans, peace.